When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Hi, I'm John Malos, and welcome to this edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Friday morning. Hope you had a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and uh, look forward to the new year. Today we're talking about a hot-button issue. It is the use of medical marijuana. We hope that you join the conversation at 436-MeTV, option 11. Don't wait through the message, and please just hit option 11 as quick as you can. And also remember, turn down the sound on your television set. I certainly hope that your holiday was peaceful and uh, very generous to you and your family. Hope you have good health and hope you had just a wonderful Christmas day a couple of days ago. We're back here live, of course, after having a few tape shows over the holiday. Hey, I mean, we have to have time off sometime too, right? Here at Connect With Me, our staff here wishing you all the best this holiday season. I want to talk about a hot button issue right here in the city of Fresno and all of Fresno County. It is the use of medical marijuana. You might recall about three weeks ago, the Fresno County Board of Supervisors voted to ban the growth of all marijuana countywide. Now this flies in the face of state law that allows the use of medical marijuana. Of course, federal use, uh, the feds, they ban it. Let's go to the videotape. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the vote by the board was unanimous, and apparently they will put their final stamp of approval on this measure on January the 7th. Supervisors passed on a plan that they discussed in September that would have banned outdoor growing, but would have allowed indoor grows for medical use. Those who use medical marijuana here in the county are outraged, but those living in places like Squaw Valley where residents say their foothill community is being overrun by too many marijuana grows, uh, say it's a good move. Debbie Puchigan, whose district includes Squaw Valley, says the ban was a public safety issue. But keep in mind the use and cultivation of medical marijuana is legal in the state of California, having passed with 56% of the vote way back in 1996. It was the first state to do so. Here is what is legal, the use and possession of eight ounces of marijuana for medical use, six mature plants and 12 immature ones. Live in our studio right now is Mark Keeler, who uses medical marijuana. He is here to tell his story. You are there to call in at 436-MeTV Option 11 and ask him why he uses it and offer your opinion about the use of medical marijuana, not only in Fresno County, but the entire state of California. We'll also talk a little bit, a little bit about the state of Washington and Colorado, which voters approved the use of marijuana for recreational use. We'll get into that as well, 436, MeTV Option 11. We're back with our hot button issue of the day in a moment. Remember me? After practicing law, Raymond Burr fought crime. You have the right to an attorney. As a hard-boiled detective on wheels. Ain't it the truth? His name is Ironside. Perhaps you wouldn't mind saying it again. His name is Ironside. All right, now you've said it. Nothing slows him down. I want to see this one firsthand. Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Well, what are we waiting for? 
Do you approve of the use of medical marijuana in the state of California? For that matter, do you approve the use of marijuana for any use? How about recreational use? The voters may end up deciding that issue right here in the state of California, much like they did in the state of Washington and also Colorado. Joining us now is Mark Keeler. He uses uh, medical marijuana and has for how long? How long have you done that? About, about four months. About four months. And yeah. what do you use it for? Uh, I was sad and depressed. Really, I mean, really sad and depressed. And so you use it for depression? Yes. What are you depressed about? Or do you know? It's, it's inherited. Okay. Uh, my mom's parents, my mom, my brother, myself, it's just inherited. And I had to try something. Show me the scientific or medical evidence that says that this marijuana that you're using mm -hmm. helps you get out of your funk, your depression. I, I, can only, I can only speak what's right for me. I, I know several people that say they use it for, for what they use it for. Okay. But I'm the only one that knows what works for me. And it works. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We'll get more into that after this phone call. Good I morning. You're on Connect with me. What's your question? Okay. We lost them there. Oops. So it works for you. How yeah. does it work? Um, I don't know how it works. I don't even know why. But okay. I, so so when you're feeling depressed, yes. Are you are you at home you're are you lying down are you in bed what, what's the situation it's it's just it's just encompasses my life it's i i could be out driving i could be out doing something i could be working and it just it it comes on me very slowly and i feel it coming on what i do is i on saturday i found out that on saturday that's when i that's when i smoke it Saturday night, very late, so there, when there's nothing going on. But I want to get into what happens to you when you're during the depression time. What, 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 well, what goes on in your mind? Mostly I want to kill myself. I have wanted... Because? I'm sad and depressed. I, I, I don't understand... And you're not sure about what? Yeah, I, it's just being sad and depressed. You'd have to experience being sad and depressed all the time. Right. I mean, it's a tough old world out there. It is? And oh, yeah. It's not another, getting any better. call here, Mark. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Your question, please. Hello? Caller? Hello? Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead and turn the, down the sound on your TV set, please. Caller? Okay, we'll have to let you go. Anyway, <laughs> so you're sad and depressed. You feel like committing right. suicide. Yes. Okay, now, on Saturdays, you smoke marijuana. Yes. Okay, and how does that make you feel? Um, it... When I, f when I first smoke it, of, co of course, there's the stone, which is the psychoactive properties of the THC. I don't, pr I don't particularly care for being stoned because I went from 1989 till four months ago without smoking any weed at all. Okay. I, I just didn't. I outgrew it, you know, like everybody does. You party for a while right. and then you outgrow it. We do have another call, but I want to caution our caller if you're watching live right now. Turn down the sound on your television set when you're calling in, because otherwise we won't be able to hear you. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. Uh, caller, what's your question? Okay, you've got to turn down the sound on your television set, sir. Okay, we're going to have to let you go. Um, three calls already, and we, have, we, have, we haven't had a question yet. So right. turn down the sound on your television set if you're watching, or else don't call in because we won't be able to hear you. It'll just ruin the whole, uh, the whole issue of calling. Yeah, okay, so right now you're, you are taking med medical marijuana. Yes. Okay, do you have a medical card for it? Yes. Okay. I want to get into the specifics about what it does to help you. What do you feel like after you smoke marijuana? Um, how, how do you feel differently than you did earlier when okay. you were sad and depressed? The, the strain that I smoke, because there's hundreds of strains for different things. Okay. Uh, and I am stoned for about an hour to an hour and a half. And After the, you smoke it. Right. Okay. Which is when I'm, I stay in my chair because I, I, I don't want to hurt myself or anybody else. So okay. Once the stone wears off, um, I just... I feel, I feel good. I feel better. I feel alive. 
Um, oftentimes, I will get up and clean the kitchen, and then I'll move to the bathroom and I'll clean the bathroom because I feel good. I feel like a normal. You feel n like a brand new man. I feel good. I don't feel sad anymore. Once the stone goes away, you can't explain it, huh? That's the only way I can explain it. Once. Okay. Take another call here. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. Caller, your question. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the gentleman you have on that show right now, he's giving other pot smokers a bad name, I think. Uh, you know, wow. I think he's high right now. Okay. And uh, I, okay. I just think, I just think, you know. Um, and and you let know, me ask you, let me stop you right there, Caller. In what way is he giving pot smokers a bad name? Well, it's just, you know, he's, He's high, and he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know... Uh, can you be more specific? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, the way he's delaying when he's talking, he's not, he's not being, you know, upfront about it. You know, I smoke pot every day, and uh, I don't for, have a card. For what purpose? And, uh, what, do you, what do you smoke pot for? Uh, I'm visually impaired, and I have really bad uh, eye migra uh, uh, migraines. Uh, with my in my eyesight, and so uh, I do it for a, you know, a, a health reason. Okay, but Mark here is 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 claiming that he's sad and depressed, and when he smokes marijuana, he's getting high, but afterwards he feels better. Okay, so what's oh. what's, what's wrong what's wrong with that? Well, I, he just I don't think so. I, I think that's a I don't think that's a right uh, way to do it. Uh, you, I I smoke after I smoke, I feel good, but I don't. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's an antidepressant. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate I appreciate your phone call and I appreciate your comments and your thoughts about it. And good luck to you. But I think I think I think it should be legal here in California, 100. percent For recreational use. For recreational use and medical use. You know, you know it already is for medical use, but uh, I think it should be for recreational use. Um, you know, uh, I have uh, friends that do it, and they, you know, it's after work. You get done working at the end of the day. You know, you want to light up a fat joint, and you know, feel good for feel good for a few hours. You know. Okay, I appreciate your comments. Do you want to comment on what he said that you don't know what you're talking about, and he thinks you're high right now? It's pointless. Well, I, go I, ahead and comment. What are your thoughts? Well, what um, is there a particular strain this fellow smokes, and that he knows how it works for him? is there or his friends get off work and roll up a joint you know i smoke once maybe twice a week oh an eighth lasted me three months okay all right we are talking with uh, mark keeler he uses medical marijuana and has uh, for about the last four months your phone calls are important but remember ladies and gentlemen turn down the sound on your television set when you call in to ask that question don't have your sound cranked up won't be able to hear you 436 me tv option 11 back with our program in just a moment when you're looking for kitchenaid innovation and quality who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Back here talking about medical marijuana. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Your question? Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead, caller. Quickly, what's your question? Well, I was just responding to that one caller's comment that he thought this man was high right now. Okay. I've seen him, this man, exhibit things that make me think he's got some physical problems as well as his depression. Okay. And maybe he's not very articulate, but who knows whether that is indicative of being high. You know what I mean? Sure, I understand. And um, I, per I myself ex have lived through a severe depression, and in my case, it took different uh, forms and different uh, remedies. But um, okay, you know, each person is individual. Yeah, e what you're saying is each person is different, and uh, the use of marijuana may have a different effect on each person. 
Well, yeah. A friend of mine used to use marijuana when she was a teenager. She says it just makes you want to lay down and float. Well, to me, that's not uh, very productive. Right. Right. So, you know. If, okay. All right. Hey, and appreciate. then, too, this, this uh, guest you have may have more going on than just depression. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Is Absolutely. that true? What That's else do you have going on uh, here, Mark? Oh, um... What physical ailments do you have? My my feet hurt. Uh, my I sometimes have a small amount of back pain, but that's just because I'm 51. Uh, let me think. I have I have panic attacks, which I'm going to go talk to my doctor about, because okay. I don't I don't think smoking the weed is solving my panic attacks. But it's helping with your depression. Oh, what you claim. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm okay. I'm alive now. I I really wanted to kill myself before I started smoking. Okay. Another call coming in. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Your question. Yes. You know what gets me is everybody's sitting there talking about uh, recreational or medicinal, and what cuts me up and wishes when you get a bunch of guys getting off work. Uh, they go out and they have their drinks, but they can sit there and drink all the beer they want. And after they drink all the beer they want, they get in their cars and they drive. Everybody I know that smokes any kind of bug whatsoever, if they do get in their car and drive, they're not going to go very fast. They've been a few accidents. One time I've taken like six two okay. on job, drink, but all right. they don't really cause any problems. Okay, caller, thank you for the call. I appreciate your comments. I want to put up a couple of things up on the screen. First of all, Proposition 215, way back in 1996, quite a while ago now, the voters of California passed this with 56% of the, the vote. They said on November the 5th, 1996, that California should use medical marijuana, the legal use, possession, and cultivation of marijuana, of course, exclusively remember, for medical use. Another call coming in. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Call or your question. Yes, John. How are you doing? This is Robert Carpenter. Uh, okay. First of all, I'd like to say, uh, Mark, uh, God bless you, and I understand about your depression. My wife suffers from it very severely, and uh, my wife smokes medical marijuana and has a card, and the caller before last that was uh, saying some negativity against Mark, I think that uh, he should uh, take care of himself and let Mark take care of himself medically. And without a medical marijuana card, that gentleman is smoking illegally. illegally. But yeah. on my case, I've been disabled for 12 years, and I've had reflex sympathetic dystrophy and neuropathy. And I do have my medical marijuana card. And I was taken off 13 different types of medications, which uh, the narcotics, Vicodin, Darvacet, Neurotin, Elevil for depression. Right. Got me off on all that. And I started on the medical marijuana. And it, it helps, helps you. It, hel it helps it, you. It helps you. It does. Okay. It helps me 100%. I'd rather be on the medical marijuana than all the pharmaceutical drugs. They just destroy the body. So okay. uh, Mark Maybe. understands what he's going through. All right. So it's an individual uh, okay. physical Maybe illness that people have that takes this. It's not an ingrown toenail which gives you a right for a medical marijuana card, okay. that loophole. So <laughs> right. it hey, shouldn't be that way. I appreciate it. Hang, hang on. You, you may, want to ask him a may question? May I ask quick. you a question about your Into wife? Into the mic. Into the mic. Oh. Right. May I ask you a question about your wife? <laughs> you sure can, Mark. Go ahead. Uh, I, I'm just curious. Do you know what strain that she smokes for her depression? Um, I personally, we, uh, you can do the sativa or the indica. Uh, you can Google it on yeah. Google and go to the Medican. Yeah. And they'll give you a lot of information on the different strains of medical marijuana that would help different situations for yourself, such as depression. And uh, okay. uh, so the different strains help out in different uh, ways. All right. This, Listen, we're running we're running short on time. Do you do you do you have another question? Quickly? I I just wanted to let him know that uh, for depression, banana Kush. That's what I smoke. Okay. It's a strain, and it's very very low on stone, but it's very uh -huh. good in medication. All right. Good. Banana I appreciate push. That's it. The Thank strain. you, and I'll take that down, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the call. Running short on time. want to put something up on the screen one more time. Medical uses for marijuana. Let's put up the list. I didn't see depression on there, but we do have a long list for the uses of medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. One of them is AIDS, arthritis, uh, cancer, 
glaucoma, uh, muscle spasms, you can see them up there, multiple sclerosis, seizures, epilepsy, nausea, chronic pain, which you have, of course, mm -hmm. migraine and other. The other could be uh, depression, which you use uh, medical marijuana for, and the strain again is? Uh, what, I, what I use is banana kush. Okay. Kush is a type of plant, banana is the strain. All right, the legal amount of marijuana in California is as follows. We'll put that up on the screen as well. Uh, eight ounces of use and possession. You can have up to six mature plants and 12 immature plants. That's the standard in California. That's law. Another call coming in. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember, you've got to turn down the sound on your TV set if you call in, or we can't take your call. We won't be able to hear you. So, do you agree with the ban in Fresno County? I what I what I agree with is if it's illegal, it should be done away with. But do you do you agree with what the supervisors did, the banning the growth? The outdoor ban. The outdoor ban. Yes, I. It, if it's an annoyance to your neighbors and people around you, because there's kids out there. And they don't need to be exposed to it until they're at least 18. Okay. Stoners are going to be stoners. That's it. It's been like so that. So you since. agree with what the supervisors did, banning the growth of marijuana throughout the entire county. They're going to they're going to follow up on this and put their yeah. stamp of approval, of seven. course, on on the seventh of yes. January. Yes. So you agree with it? Yes or no? I I agree. What does somebody need with a thousand plants? My garden is two plants. Okay. I was going to bring you pictures, but I forgot. All right. Uh, we're going to continue our conversation here with Mark Keeler. He uses medical marijuana, 436, me TV option 11. I say this until I'm blue in the face. You've got to turn down that sound mm -hmm. on your TV set if you're going to call in. Back with our show in just a moment. One Adam 12, one Adam 12. This is Adam 12. It stars Martin Milner as Officer Pete Malloy, Kent McCord as Officer Jim Reed. One Adam 12, Roger. This black and white patrol car has an overhead valve V8 engine that develops 325 horsepower at 4,800 RPMs. It accelerates from zero to 60 in seven seconds. It has a top speed of 120 miles an hour. The automobile has two shotgun racks, one attached to the bottom portion of the front seat, one in the vehicle trunk. You want me to drive? Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Back here talking about medical marijuana, we're going to roll a piece of videotape, some aerial shots. We just got done talking about what the supervisors did just about three weeks ago, banning the use of uh, growing marijuana throughout the entire county. And that means some of these pot farms that you're looking at up here, uh, specifically in Squaw Valley, a large amount of marijuana being grown out in the open there. But if you're down at ground level, eye level, you can't see these plants. You have to go high in the air via airplane, helicopter, whatever. That's what law enforcement does to crack down on some of these uh, medical, uh, or not medical, but marijuana grows throughout the entire county. There are some of them right there. Now, Washington and Colorado, the voters there decided that you can use marijuana for recreational use. Do you agree with that, Mark? Tax it. Because Do you agree with that, yes or no? No. M making, making, making it recreational use, I, I don't agree with that, but people are going to smoke it anyway. Tax it. Well, that's what Colorado is doing. Apparently, yeah. they're taking in about $20 million in taxes yeah. a year mm -hmm. on some of these yeah. uh, marijuana dispensaries throughout the entire area of Colorado. In mm -hmm. fact, they have 204 dispensaries in the city of Denver alone. <laughs> Those are some of the marijuana grows in Fresno County, all illegal, by the way, I might add. Fresno County Sheriff's Department has cracked down uh, severely on some of these uh, pot grows throughout the entire county. But you agree with what the supervisors are doing, and you're not necessarily in favor of recreational use. No, because people are going to use it anyway. But why not tax it, and why not make it... Don't decriminalize or legalize it, because that's not going to happen here. But what about all those tax dollars? I mean, every week it seems like on the news that they're sniveling and whining and crying about... We need more tax dollars for this, tax dollars for that. Right. Okay, so take if if you took and you did something good and constructive with the marijuana trade that's in this valley, the hundreds of people that could be put to work, the hundreds of people that could be taxed, the businesses that could be taxed, turn it around into something good. Right. Don't keep it underground. 
Okay, if you're watching right now, you're calling in, turn down the sound on your TV set, 436, me TV option 11, another call coming in. Good morning, you're on the show. You're, well, not, you were on the show. Lost, lost okay, it. the number of states uh, currently uh, that have legalized the use of medical marijuana, 20 across the nation. California was the first in 1996, of course, followed by Alaska, Oregon, Washington, uh, Maine, Nevada, Hawaii. You can see the list there. Now, I didn't mention Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, also uh, allows the use of medical marijuana. Another call coming in. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Your question. Um, I don't really have a question. I have a statement. Uh, okay. You know, I understand on medical marijuana. As an employer, I had hired someone that was smoking medical marijuana, but I wish I hadn't just for liability reasons. Um, Did you let that person go? Um, I did not. They were a good employee. Um, they quit. But I, you know, I, I just felt um, as an employee, I, I really didn't want them as an employee for liability reasons. So would you hire uh, someone else if they had to use marijuana for medical use? Yeah. You would? Yeah. They were a great employee. I mean, you know, they knew all the stuff. They were doing taxes, and they knew all the stuff, and they were great. But, um, you know, I didn't know until after I hired them. And, um, I, I, you know, I wanted the knowledge beforehand. What was your problem with them? What was your, what was your, what, your, what was your issue well, with? It was just liability stuff that I was concerned about, uh -huh. to tell you the truth. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate the call. I appreciate the comment. Thank you for calling in. Okay, I want to put a picture up on the screen of a man named Aaron Sandusky. Maybe you've heard of him. Maybe you haven't, Mark. I'm not sure. But he was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for operating medical marijuana dispensaries in Rancho Cucamonga. Now, uh, this was a highly publicized uh, case around the state of California. Mm -hmm. About 2011, the Obama administration, Justice Department there under his administration, started cracking down, uh, using uh, the federal law here in California to crack down on some of these dispensaries. What do you think about this guy Sandusky going to prison for 10 years? I didn't read about him, but I did read, I did read up on Marion Fry. Who, uh, what do you think who, about this case? Who was, you read, he, right. who was read alongside him, actually. You think he should go to prison? If he was within the limits of the law, no, he should not. If state law, what is the federal law? It's a real fine it line. Bans, it bans all medical it's, marijuana, yeah, it's, it's, all it's, marijuana it's a felony, use. Of, yeah. yeah, it's a felony. You go to prison. Yeah, Weed is in the same category as heroin and meth. Right. I have a little difficulty with that. Another call. Quickly, caller, you're on the air. We have two minutes. What's your question? It's got to be quick. I just had a statement, um, and I uh, agreed perfectly quick. with the last caller Gotta be quick. about the slouch uh, statement about people who smoke marijuana being slouches. Uh, it depends on the person. You could be a hard worker, and you could smoke marijuana, and still be a productive member of society, and I should tax it so we can make some money in the state and country. Okay. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it. Running out of time. So, sure. again... It helps you with your depression. Yes. I, but you feel high for about an hour. About, uh, yeah, about an hour to an hour and a half I'm stoned because of what... In Colorado... Don't they, you worry about that? Are you worried about getting lung cancer from smoking no, marijuana? Nobody's ever died from marijuana. How do you know that? Where's the proof of that? Do you have any stats to back that up? If, if you give me enough time and have me on again, I will bring them. Okay. Because okay. they're but out But you're there. not concerned about it. No, I'm, I, my life's more than half over. And I, it's just, don't, and I. And You're not I, concerned about the fact that, that it makes you stoned for about the better part of an hour and a half. Yes, I, I, I do not particularly care for being stoned, but I. But you like the after effects that you're not depressed right, any longer. Because for four or five days after I smoke, I am not sad or depressed. I'm, I'm 51 so you years. You smoke no. it on Saturday. Yeah. Four or five days later, you start getting depressed. You smoke it again, right. and you're fine. I'm good. The I'm 51 years old. I have like two friends, and I finally figured it dawned on me why I don't have any real friends, because nobody wants to be around somebody that's sad and depressed all the time. The people that met me over the last four months, they like me. I'm a pretty. They think I'm funny, and I'm a pretty nice well, guy. Maybe a lot of people don't want to be around someone who smokes marijuana either. 
So it's kind of a catch-22, right? Yeah, but from, from 1989 to 2013, I didn't smoke any at all. Yeah. Okay, got to go, out of time. Mark Wheeler, okay. thank you for your uh, presence right. here on Connect With Me. Uh, an issue that we're not going to solve today, and I didn't take mm -hmm. a stance one way or the other. Appreciate your phone calls. We're hoping that you have, a, you have a beautiful weekend, a happy new year. We'll see you back here on Monday, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.